It feels like all of a sudden everyone's jumping on the health bandwagon and it's great. We have so much more information out there than we ever did before through all these different doctors, health influencers, biohackers, and sure, with all of that information does come some bad advice, but I think it's an overall good thing because we have more information than ever and we don't have to take a back seat when it comes to our health. It's not all about just what the doctor says. You can better understand with this information why you're doing the things that you're doing, help you better identify the things in your environment that are keeping you chronically fatigued and keeping you chronically ill. And when you understand these things better, you can get more proactive about it. And so I think it's an overall good thing. And with all this discussion around health, there's a lot of talk around best practices for diet and exercise, but that's not what I'm gonna go over today. Today I wanna talk about one of the devices. So with the rise of technology comes a lot of cool health devices, some of which are complete garbage and some of which are really helpful. So today I wanna talk about something called PMF, which stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic frequencies. So these are different types of mats or wearables that typically run around $600 to $3,000 or so, depending on what you get, assuming it's not the professional grade one you find in doctor's offices. But if we talk about things that you can take home with you, we no longer need to have a gigantic salary. For a lot of people, that is a lot more accessible than they've ever been before. And so with that comes the question of whether they're worth your money. So today I wanna to talk about how it works, what I think it's most helpful for, what are some claims around it, so that if you do decide that you wanna go forward with one of these devices, you know what you're getting into. So let me just quickly introduce myself first so you know who's telling you this information. My name is Dr. Robin Lewis. I'm a naturopathic physician practicing here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada and let's jump into it. So the first thing we need to talk about is why it's doing what it's doing. So if you go online, they will talk about PMF and there'll be a lot of claims around it. So a lot of these websites will talk about how it charges your cells, improves cellular energy and improves cellular function. And with those big claims comes and it can treat anything and while some may argue that is true and some may argue that it's not true, it technically only has FDA approval for certain conditions such as bone fractures, wound healing, migraine with auras, depression, and a handful of other ones. And so it is recognized by our governing bodies as a medical device. Now, it would be hard to argue it's useful for everything, but once we go into what it's doing at a cellular level and some of the research that has shown benefits with various different conditions, you might buy into that or you might not. Ultimately, I'll just present you with the information. So these devices that you bring home with you will typically either be in the form of a mat that you lie on or some type of wearable that you apply to different parts of your body. Within those wearables or mats are coils that produce this electromagnetic frequency in a pulsed fashion, hence the PMF. Now there are a lot of different types of electromagnetic frequencies. We have natural frequencies that come from the earth, for example, and this is actually what PMF is trying to emulate the most. It's a lower frequency in a pulsed fashion that most closely resembles that that our earth produce. So this is why you'll see these devices being called grounding mats and things like that. Is it supposed to emulate the same thing as putting your feet in the soils, for example? But we also have other types of the EMFs, such as an MRI machine, which also is technically an EMF, but a much higher frequency. So as you can imagine, depending on which EMF you have, some are good for us and some are not so good for us. So the lower PMF type of frequency is supposed to have the benefits, whereas something like an MRI machine, you don't wanna sit in that one for too long and have too many rounds of it. And for a lot of people, when they get these devices, especially the lower powered ones at home, you're not actually going to feel much. 
So some people will report feeling like a warmth or a feeling of well-being while they're on the mats, but it's really not that noticeable unless you're looking for it. It's not like a TENS machine. It's not going to contract your whole body and release. It's not a super dramatic sensation that it produces. And for a lot of people, that will get them suspicious. Well, if I can't see it and I can't feel it, what is it doing? And so one way to look at this is the fact that a microwave is also an electromagnetic frequency that you can't necessarily see. But would you put yourself in a microwave? Would you trust that nothing's happening because you can't see it? No, absolutely not. That'd be insane. And so there is a level of trusting the process. And I will say it's not one of those things that works right away. If you're using it for an immediate benefit, you're not really going to get that. There are some self-reports of that, but it's really not what the literature is saying it's useful for. You're not going to use it as a one and done. It's very much one of those things that you have to do it day in, day out, day in, day out, and then eventually you start to notice the benefits. So it's not an overnight change. Now, when you look online, there's a lot of claims when it comes to PMFs. They'll say things like it charges your cells, it optimizes them, it improves cellular energy and things like that, which are all extremely vague. So what I wanted to do as part of this episode was look at some of the specific things that they're finding in the research that could explain some of the benefits. One thing they found when they looked at PMFs and the cell, they found that a lot of these receptors on the outside of your cell are stimulated by these frequencies. And so a good example of this is our adenosine receptors. They are stimulated by these frequencies and what that causes downstream inside the cell is a reduction in your pro-inflammatory molecules such as tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin beta. These specific inflammatory compounds have been associated with musculoskeletal conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. But ultimately, chronic inflammation is behind most diseases. An uncontrolled inflamed body equals destruction. So inflammation is behind a lot of these conditions that you see. And so anything we can do to slow down inflammation and have it better managed is going to be a massive win for a lot of different things. But in the example of this, they are looking at two specific molecules that are highly associated with conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, which are, of course, very painful joint conditions. So that might be one of the ways it's helping pain. Another super interesting animal study looked at the use of PMF machines and heart attack recovery. So these animals were doing PMF multiple times a day during the recovery process. And at the end, they found that the animals doing the PMF had improved cardiac function. So their heart worked better and there was less death of the heart tissue. And when they looked a little further into why that was happening, they found that the PMF animals had increased capillary density in their heart, which means more blood vessels in that area. With more blood vessels means more nutrient delivery, more oxygen, better waste removal. And then they also found an increase in one of our growth factors called vascular endothelial growth factor, which of course also promotes the growth and the repair of your blood vessels. And that's very good for heart attack and stroke recovery, which is a very big deal. Um, but interestingly enough, there are multiple different accounts of PMF increasing growth factors, different types of growth factor in different types of tissue. And so this is going to optimize recovery in general and lower growth factor has very much been linked to accelerated aging. So it could have a broader impact. It could have a broader implication, I guess is a better way of saying that. But so far, we're just talking about heart attack recovery, which is still really cool. And in this animal study, there was very positive outcomes. So these are examples of some of the mechanisms behind PMF, improving blood flow to areas, improving repair, bringing down inflammation, which are all very sizable claims. 
but I did want to go over some of the specific conditions that have been successfully treated with PMF, or at least in the studies that I found. And I wanted them to be conditions that I feel like most of us can relate to in one way or another. And so the first one I want to talk about is mood. In fact, PMF has been approved to treat resistant depression. And so in this case, they were actually using devices that applied directly to the head, giving 55 hertz, so that's the type of frequency, um, to the head and seeing how people who were already on medication improved using the HAM D score, which is a fairly reliable questionnaire they use for tracking depression and the severity of their symptoms. And so what they found in this study is that frequent use of this wearable head piece actually resulted in a reduction of those scores in 28 to 50% of the people they looked at. This was a small study, but this is talking about people who are already on medications, maxed out on their medication, noticing further improvement. And of course, if we can help people with depression, that has massive implications. Another area of health that I think we all should be thinking about, and perhaps I'm a little biased because I do a lot of this in practice, is your cardiovascular health. Statistically speaking, it's the number one cause of death. And of course, if we can have better blood flow, that means better oxygen delivery, better nutrient delivery to our entire body, which has knock-on effects on our entire health, not just cardiovascular related conditions, but this could mean muscle endurance, brain health, and so, so much more. And so I was very interested in the benefits that are related to your cardiovascular health. And there are numerous different studies that I found that again reiterate the fact that it improves blood vessel formation and the repair of your blood vessels, which in of itself is really, really awesome. But another interesting thing that one study looked at is the effects on blood pressure. And so the daily use of this PMF mat resulted in an overall reduction of blood pressure after three months of use. And this was all measurements of blood pressure. So that's your systolic blood pressure, your diastolic blood pressure, and your mean overall blood pressure, which again is very, very helpful because many people will become treatment resistant when they have hypertension or just don't wanna go on the medications full stop. So it's interesting to think that something you just lie on every single day could potentially be having a blood pressure lowering effect. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the benefits on your nervous system and your HRV, which for those of you who don't know what HRV is, it stands for heart rate variability, and it more or less is an objective measurement of the health of your autonomic nervous system. So we have two main modes to our autonomic nervous system. We have our sympathetic fight or flight, or we have our parasympathetic rest and digest. And what happens as we become more dysregulated and more ill is we tend to get stuck in one or the other. We're constantly in that fight or flight, being anxious all the time, poor sleep, things like that. Or we're constantly stuck in that rest and digest where we're super lethargic, have zero energy, maybe sleep too much. And for a lot of people, this is going to become a reality at some point. And so PMF has actually been shown to increase heart rate variability, which is what you want. You want a heart rate variability that is high because what that means is that your nervous system is highly adaptable. It can go into fight or flight when it needs to, or it can drop into parasympathetic when it needs to. And it's highly efficient at doing either or depending on your environment. That is a healthy nervous system. And so anything we can do to improve the health of our nervous system is a big deal because we are chronically overstimulated, chronically overworked. As a general population, our nervous systems are not doing well. And this use of PMF actually makes a lot of sense to me because there is a lot of good historical wisdom that has talked about the benefits of grounding and how good that is for your nervous system for your mental health, for your cardiovascular system. And yes, this isn't technically the earth, it's just trying to emulate frequencies that come from the earth, but not all of us can go out and lie in the grass every day. 
I live in a big city. We don't have that many parks. I don't have a front yard. So for me to do that on a day-to-day -day basis in a natural way isn't so easy to do. So these PMF mats have really come into play to fill a need that a lot of us just realistically can't fill on a day-to-day -day basis. And as always, this is barely scratching the surface of what we could talk about. There's actually a decent amount of research on this and I really enjoyed doing the research on this because they sold me. I think there's a lot more good value to these devices than people think. I think it's really filling a need that a lot of us just can't get on our own and they're very low risk. Yes, if you have electrical devices on your body, like a pacemaker, please don't do that. But for the most part, they're pretty safe. And yes, it is a bit of a cost associated with it, but in the grand scheme of things that we pay for in our day-to-day -day lives, they're really not that expensive. As always, please do it under the medical supervision of a doctor, especially in the beginning, just so you can make sure you're doing things correctly. But ultimately, I think these are really worth it. And I think there's a lot of good research behind them. And so I hope that you found today helpful and please make that decision for yourself. If you have any PMF related questions, please comment them below. And thank you again for listening.